This hard drive 1 terabyte from Toshiba. Another 1 terabyte hard drive from Toshiba. Next to Seagate laptop hard drive 500 gigabytes. This is a solid state drive with a capacity of only 60 gigabytes. We will install the operating system on this solid state drive. Another laptop hard drive with a capacity of 250 G from Itachi. So there are five hard drives in all, I will divide them into three different groups. Solid state drive for operating system installation. Three hard drives used to store data. Toshiba 1 terabyte hard drive has the largest capacity for data backup, also known as parity hard drive. Next you use a USB stick with at least 2 GB capacity to create the installation operating system. Here I am using an 8 GB USB stick. The operating system used in this video is Open Media Vault. You can use the old or new version, the same way. In this video I use version 6.0, the latest at the moment. Just like the previous videos I used Rufus to create the Open Media Vault installer. Rufus, a compact tool, free and no installation required. Just open Rufus, select the USB stick, then browse to the Open Media Vault ISO file. Rufus will erase all data on the USB stick, then create the Open Media Vault installer for you. It takes about 5 minutes to complete. You safely remove the USB stick to avoid damage to the installer. Then you plug the USB stick into the target computer and start installing Open Media Vault. You add all the hard drives to the target computer. In this video I add 5 hard drives to the target computer. The hard drives I introduced you at the beginning of the video. After plugging in the USB stick and adding the hard drives, you start the computer and access the BIOS. I'm using an ASUS motherboard so when I start the computer I keep pressing the delete key. Our goal is to set up the computer to boot from the Open Media Vault installer. SRT USB 1100 Save the settings and restart the computer. The computer will boot from the Open Media Vault installer. Set language, I choose English. Set the server name, the default name of the server is Open Media Vault. Domain name, choose default setting. Next you are asked to create a password for the root admin account. This password will be used in the next step, so you should write it down, especially with a password that is difficult to remember. Because the computer has a lot of hard drives, you have to choose which hard drive to install the operating system on. Here are 5 hard drives and a USB stick. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, I will be installing the operating system on a 60GB Seagate solid state drive. Leave the default and press enter. Skip proxy settings and choose continue. The installation is complete. You can remove the USB stick and restart the computer. When starting your computer make sure to boot from the solid state drive. Here the computer is set up to boot from the Seagate 60G solid state drive. Save the settings and start the computer. The computer boots the Open Media Vault operating system for the first time. Wait for a while for the computer to boot up successfully. On this screen you will know the IP address of the computer. Username is admin, default password is Open Media Vault. On another computer on the local network, 
I open any web browser and enter the IP address of the NAS server. 10.11.32.226 Username is admin. Default password is Open Media Vault. First, you set up the dashboard. Like here I choose to show all information like CPU, RAM, network, hard drives and many more. Storage is disks. You first initialize all the hard drives, except the hard drive where the operating system is installed. Here I will reinitialize the hard drives SD, SDB, SDC, SDD. The first hard drive is Toshiba 1 terabyte. You select the hard drive and click wipe. Choose the quick method. Next is the Hitachi 250GB hard drive. You select the hard drive and click wipe. Choose the quick method. Next is the 500GB Seagate hard drive. Choose the quick method. The last hard drive is a Toshiba 1TB. You do not perform this step with a 60GB Seagate solid state drive. After initializing the hard drives, you create a system file for the hard drives. Storage file systems create. Here are four hard drives that need to be created with system files. You create system files for all four hard drives one by one. Default system file is X4. You just need to select the hard drives one by one and click save. Next, you mount those hard drives. For each hard drive you leave a comment, it will be easier for you to configure snap rate in the next step. Here SD hard drive is data 1. SDB is data 2. SDC is data 3. And SDD is parity. To combine hard drives with different capacities we use merger FS. To back up data with parity hard drive we use snap raid. To install snap raid and merger FS on open media vault you need to install OMV extra. To install OMV extra you access the open media vault server using SSH. You open a Windows command prompt and enter SSH root at IP address. You enter the password setup when installing the Open Media Vault operating system, as in the previous step I set the password to 123. To install OMV Extra you just copy and paste the command as above. It will take about 30 seconds to complete the installation. That's it, the installation of OMV Extra is completed. Next, refresh the Open Media Vault management page and you will see OMV Extra in the system menu. After installing OMV Extra we will install Snap Raid. System Plugins. Type Snap Raid in the search box.
Select Snap RAID and install. After the installation is complete, you will find Snap RAID in the Services menu. Next, I installed MergerFs to combine different hard drives into one. System Plugins Enter MergerFS in the search box. Select MergerFS and install. After installing MergerFS, you will find MergerFS in the storage menu. Next, we set up Snap RAID. Service Snap RAID Disks Create. With these four hard drives will be divided into two groups. With three hard drives commented as data, we will configure content in data. Three hard drives including a Toshiba 1TB hard drive, a Hitachi 250G hard drive and a Sega 500GB hard drive. The hard drive is commented as parity, we will configure it as parity. Please note that the parity hard drive must have a capacity greater than or equal to any other hard drive. And our parity hard drive here has a capacity of 1 terabyte. With snap rate I have 3 hard drives with the same configuration, one hard drive configured as parity. After completing Snap RAID configuration, I use MergerFS to combine different sized hard drives into one. Storage MergerFS Create. I named it Pool 1. Then select all three hard drives configured as data. I choose the hard drives Data 1, Data 2, and Data 3. Save the configuration, very simple, right? And this is the result you get, three hard drives have been combined into one with a capacity of 1.56 terabytes. Next we set up shared folders so that everyone can upload and download data. You create a new user. User Users Create. I create a new user net. Password is 123. Next create a new shared folder. Storage Shared Folders Name the shared folder, I named it Test. Next select Pool 1 which was just created from the previous step by MergerFS. Pool 1 has a capacity of 1.56 terabytes pooled from three different hard drives. If adding a hard drive, you can add a new hard drive here to get more space. Next, you allow the Netvn account to have read and write permissions with the test folder. To share folders for Windows computers you need to enable the SMB service. Services SMB Then enable the SMB service. Next you add the newly created test folder to the SMB service. Thus, the basic configuration steps are completed.
Now on my Windows computer I access the shared folder. I type run in the Windows search box. To access the shared folder enter slash slash IP address. Username is nat, password is 123. To easily access the shared folder of the NAS server, we set up map network drives. Slash slash IP address slash shared folder name. Enter an account if required. To check if my Nutvn account has read and write permission to the test folder, I upload some data. Upload successful. Let's check the used space on the hard drives. So I uploaded about 1 gigabyte of data. Next I recommend you to set up a static app address for the NAS server. Network interfaces. Edit. Here you set up a static IP address that matches the range of IP addresses you are using. With this NAS server I set the static IP to 10.11.3.2.226. Next we schedule data backup for Snap Raid. System scheduled tasks. You have a lot of customizations to set up the scheduled time. Here I set up daily backup. The sync command is snap raid sync. So your data will be synced daily. Alternatively you can sync manually. Everything OK. When checking the usage capacity of the parity hard drive, there will be a change. So I've introduced how to build a NAS server from different sized hard drives. Also your data will be automatically backed up daily. But that way your data will not be synchronized in real time. With Open Media Vault you can use a lot of utilities. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe.